guys welcome back to my channel uh so today's video is going to be a little bit different um it's going to be a little bit more personal for me um if you guys can tell by the title it is about weight gain and just um the different ways that i gain weight um it's kind of one of the highly requested videos that i get a lot it's not um not the exact video that you guys are asking for, but I think that this video would um, help a lot of you guys out there, um, especially when it comes to gaining weight. For some reason, it's okay for people to want to lose weight, but when people are small and they want to gain weight, people see it as a problem. Like, oh my gosh, why do you want to gain weight? Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to do that? It's like, because I want to, you know? Like, um, and you could not like it doesn't even have to mean like oh I'm gaining weight for somebody else like you just want to do it for yourself like you just want to feel better in your clothes or things like that um, but for some reason smaller people get like it's like a stigma to want to gain weight and it's like oh no like don't do it but um, yeah so I just wanted to come and show you guys a few different ways that would help you um, gain weight. So these are things that I personally did and still do sometimes when I go wanna gain weight. I know right now I am 133 pounds, but my goal weight is between 140 and 145. So I'm actually starting back on this weight, um, weight gaining journey and um, sorry guys, I'm hoping that some of you guys will join me uh, on this. So, um, and please, if you have anything negative to say about anybody wanting to gain weight or anybody else's body or anything like that, just don't watch this video because I will block you and I will delete your comment. Um, but, okay, so I'm just going to tell you guys a quick little background on me. I've been small my entire life. I was teased in middle school, not by girls, but mostly by guys um, who eventually liked me. But I don't know if they were teasing me because they liked me or they were just being evil kids. Um... And uh, yeah, so I've been literally, I didn't know I was skinny when I was little. I didn't realize that I was skinny until I was in like seventh grade and everybody else told me that I was skinny and I was like, oh, I guess I am skinny. Um, so literally from that point, I tried to gain weight any way I could. And it wasn't that I wasn't eating because I'm actually a really greedy person. I eat a lot. If you follow me on Snapchat, you see that I eat a lot, but my metabolism is just really quick and it's hard for me to hold on weight. So even when I do gain weight, if I slip up, it's gone that quick, well, even without working out. Um, so yeah, I tried everything. I used to make my mom buy me insures and it was another drink that I used to make her buy me. Like I tried everything and I literally could not gain weight the most i've ever weighed was 139 and that was around last year and that's because i was really eating like crazy um i call it my happy weight uh but yeah so i'm back down to 133 because a lot of other circumstances happened where i did a cleanse and i ended up losing weight on accident i didn't want to lose weight i went to greece uh didn't like the food i lost weight i got really sick for like a week couldn't eat, I lost weight. So like things kept happening to me to where I was losing the weight that took me so long to get. Um, a lot of you guys know that when I do my try-ons and stuff, my staple weight is 133. Like that's exactly what I am right now. Um, but I do fluctuate from time to time, different things affect it. Um, we all know that everybody has their own problems um, and things like that, but yeah, so I've definitely been small. I used to dance, which is probably another reason why I couldn't hold on weight because I was so active. So, um, yeah, but recently, um, I, like I've been telling you guys in this video, I'm starting my weight gain journey all over again. And I actually, I know a lot of you guys want a workout routine. And the reason why I haven't put one out yet is because I was not consistent at all. I literally worked out when I felt like it or when I remembered or when one of my friends told me to or things like that. But for the past couple of months, I've been working out three to four days a week, um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then sometimes Saturday or Sunday when me and my friends would do a group workout. Um, so hopefully soon I will have a workout video for you guys, but I wanted to do this video first to help some of you out there um, who wanna gain weight or who struggle like me with a fast metabolism. So keep on watching guys, and I will give you guys some tips and tricks on how I gain weight. First thing first, I have three different ways to help you gain weight, but with these three different things, 
it is a must that you work out because if you do not work out you will get a pudge in your stomach and you don't want that trust me <laughs> so um and i'm not saying necessarily do cardio because cardio will make you burn the calories that you're taking in i'm saying do things like strength training or with weights um and like squats and stuff like definitely squats and sit-ups will help you to hold on your weight better and it will help your weight to turn into muscle and to not turn into flab or fat you know because you don't want to gain weight and then it's like bad weight you know like oh my gosh she gained a lot of weight but it doesn't look good you still want it to look good so i'm going to say that with all three of these methods please 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 do sit-ups do squats do lunges do whatever you have to do to not turn this weight into flab Okay, so let's go ahead and get started before I keep talking your ears off. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna start off with um, is for people who wanna go like the more healthy or like organic way um, and you don't wanna use like supplements or like anything that's not considered natural. So um, the first thing that you wanna do, and this is what I did when I did a cleanse. I did a 21 day raw food cleanse where I could only eat raw foods. And this is what I did to stop from losing as much weight as I actually lost. When I did the cleanse, I did not want to lose weight. It was all for like just cleansing my body and to be more healthy and to have more energy. But of course, because I wasn't eating any junk, I ended up losing nine pounds, which is a lot for me because I'm already small. Um, but to help, I would have lost way more than that if I did not do this. So um, what you want to do is it's a smoothie. So probably like what the heck is all this stuff behind me but this was like key to me helping to, to um, not lose as much weight as I could have so the first thing is peanut butter so this is my favorite peanut butter it's actually quite expensive so I wouldn't really recommend it um, but it's wild organic peanut butter and this is what I was using when I was doing the cleanse and any type of um, peanut butter almond butter cashew butter anything like that they're really really good for helping you pack on pounds uh, two tablespoons of this is 170 calories so i would do two tablespoons of peanut butter and then i would add one whole banana um one banana i believe is 105 calories so right there you already have what like 275 um calories into your smoothie um and i usually would freeze these because it makes it more into like a slushy instead of like a juice if that makes sense so you have the peanut butter you have the banana and then you go ahead and you want to add either almond milk or regular milk I use both I don't have a preference I'm not vegan I'm not vegetarian I I eat what I want to eat so either one of these will work perfectly fine for you guys and then what I would say is the most important ingredient inside of this weight gain smoothie are dates so these things are the plug right here so you could get a big container of this for like ten dollars at costco um and dates are really really sweet so like if you if you like sweet stuff fine but if not you probably don't want it to use as many but two dates are a hundred and which one is 150 calories for two and they're like this big so you not only could you use this as a snack to help you pack on um more calories throughout throughout the day but if you add them to the smoothies it will boost the smoothie up and it will make it sweeter for you guys um in case you don't like the taste of anything else that's in it you can also add strawberries to it you can add any fruit that you want to it but these main ingredients right here are what hold the calories and what will help you um to gain your weight and to reach your target weight uh so i was drinking these smoothies i was drinking one in the morning and one before i went to sleep at night and they really did help me um i even kept drinking them after i did the cleanse and i started gaining my weight back really quick when i was doing this uh so that's one that's for anyone who doesn't want to do the supplements or anything like that like i said so let's go on to number two okay so number two i just discovered this um ah and it actually popped up on my instagram I don't know if it was um, something I follow it popped up and it is called a pitamin um my light is really bright so let's see so yeah it is called a pitamin and I got this I'll have all the links for 
I guess everything except for like the food and stuff because that's at the grocery store. But I have all of the links for everything else that I mentioned in this video down below. And this was $16.99 for one bottle and the shipping was like a $10 flat rate. So I ended up getting two. Um, but it is a syrup that you take and you can take it up to three times a day. It is an appetite, uh, appetite. It is appetite stimulant. So what that means is that it makes you really really hungry so before I ordered this I actually looked it up to see exactly what it was because I didn't want to be putting anything in my body and doctors actually use this for people who have eating disorders to help them to feel hungry um so when I say this stuff makes you really hungry like it makes you really really hungry so for the first two days that you take it um I'm gonna warn you right now, it even tells you, I don't know if it says it on the website, it doesn't say it on the box. Um, you will get tired for like the first two to three days. I know for me, it was the first two days. Like I literally, I couldn't move basically. Like, so I, if you start taking this, make sure you take it on a weekend or on a day where you know you don't have anything planned because the first day was the worst day. Like literally I took it in the morning and like two hours later i was knocked out for like hours i slept to like 4 p.m like and i was just like oh no i don't know if i could continue this but i did it again and eventually it went away um so what you do is the bottle comes like this um and then let me show you guys a full bottle because i've actually finished one bottle already um so it comes like this and it doesn't come full if you guys can see that um, it stops right here so don't panic like oh my gosh they cheated me because everything that I looked up said it doesn't come full and then it comes with a little measuring cup so you want to do 10 milliliters so you literally just pour 10 milliliters in and you take it you can take it up to three times a day um, and it's going to make you hungry it's going to make you want to eat um, so you can take this along with the smoothie that I mentioned before and you will be just fine but I'm telling you right now it's going to make you hungry does this work 100% so I actually haven't took it in a while if you guys been following me for a while you guys know that me and my friends went to Greece and I didn't like the food out there so I did not eat and I lost about five or six pounds so when I came home I was really sad because I had just gained that weight back um, so I started taking this um, and within a week I had gained those five pounds back when I say that's how serious this stuff is and it was probably that along with the fact that I was actually eating because when I was out there I I wasn't eating like that I was eating like once a day um, but this helped me to want to eat more and like I was literally just snacking all day so when you do this you want to have snacks if you want um, and probably not like garbage you probably want to eat healthy stuff but it will make you hungry and it I did gain about five pounds in maybe not a week maybe about ten days I gained five pounds just from taking this stuff and then I got really sick like so sick where I had to go to urgent care twice um, and I couldn't eat I couldn't swallow like crazy crazy sick and then I lost all the weight that I gained again from taking this so I was back down I even I had lost more weight I believe so originally when I went to Greece again my staple weight is 133 that's what I am now I was 133 when I came back I was about 127 I started taking this uh, within like 10 days I was back up to 132 and then I got sick and I dropped down to 126 so my body was not having it like it was not having it um, at all but this stuff really really works the final thing that I was taking for maybe about three years so this is number three um, and this is my go-to before I even knew about this before I even knew about dates like I had never had a date before they look like prunes to me but they're way sweeter um, and that is this stuff so serious man so I know for a fact that they sell this on Amazon because I've seen it um, but I got it from the vitamin shop and I want to say it's about $40 but it's huge and mine is half empty which is why I can do this um, if not it's really really heavy um, so this is a protein, um, it's for protein shakes 
and this is what like bodybuilders use and that's how I found it on a bodybuilding website um, so this is serious mass and what you do is let me open it up it might make a smoke cloud because it does that every time so the directions say to take two scoops of this and two scoops of this alone is 1250 calories which is crazy because I know people who only eat like 1500 calories a day so like you there basically um so this is what the scoop looks like it's really big um and I don't even know what size cup you would need because you're supposed to add water or milk to it um so I add milk because water makes it taste weird they also have it in chocolate and I think cookies and cream I like vanilla because I don't eat chocolate um but yeah so I don't do two scoops because that's way too much like the cup would have to be like this big and I'm not drinking all that um, so I do one scoop and I do it with um, and I do it with milk so when I add the milk to the one scoop that alone is about 800 calories right there and I do this after I work out I will drink this protein shake after I work out um, sometimes I add bananas to it sometimes I add strawberries to it you can really add whatever you want you can add peanut butter to it to make um, to add even more calories uh, to your shake but for the most part I just do the milk because like I said with water it tastes like chalky a little bit um, but with the milk it tastes like a vanilla shake um, and then if you add your bananas or your strawberries or your peaches or whatever you want to add to it it tastes really good um, so this has helped me for years this actually is what got me to 133 because I was at 125 or something like that one night I was 119 125 123 I was at that for years and I could not gain weight and then I found this um, when I moved to the valley when did I move to the valley maybe like three or four years ago was when I found this and um, I started ordering them and I started taking them and not taking it but I started making my smoothies uh, but you have to be consistent with this uh, my best friend Skylar gets mad at me because I talk about it all the time but sometimes I forget to take it and um, yeah so you have to be consistent with any of these things if you want to gain weight I'm telling you you have to be consistent you have to eat and you have to, you can even keep track if you want they have like a little my fitness pal you can keep track of how many calories you're intaking every day but again you also need to work out while you're doing this because you do not want sloppy fat okay you want it to be muscle you want it to look nice you don't want it to look nasty okay so again these things will i promise you guys it will really really help you so i'm actually going to start my weight journey i've been taking i haven't started this again i'm going to start this bottle and i'm going to start religiously taking my smoothies again and even doing this whole um thing again because this is a good breakfast like that's breakfast to me um so and it's quick or anything like that so yeah i know um a lot of people want it right now but like gaining weight is not it's not gonna happen overnight you have to be consistent you have to take these things if you want um and yeah again i'm not a doctor i'm not a health expert I'm not a trainer I'm not anything like that I'm a regular person who wanted to gain weight and this is what I found that helped me and I'm doing this video because hopefully I'll help somebody else out there and hopefully some of you guys will join me on my weight gain journey so comment down below you guys if you're gonna start this weight gain journey with me or if you're gonna try any of the things that I've mentioned or if you have any other things that I can do to achieve my goal weight um, and then I guess I'll do like a check-in video or like I guess a weigh-in video is that what it would be um, in about a month and we'll see how far I got and what I stuck to, what I didn't do, what I messed up on. And hopefully you guys have things to share with me as well. But I'm excited and I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.